Hey guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me today for another video with Dollar Diva, aka Anise. Okay guys, so today's video is going to be about color charts and color swatches. Oh. Okay, now here's the story. When I first started my coloring journey in June 2017 of this year, I used to look at Facebook and um, YouTube and I would see people, you know, having color charts and swatching, you know, their colors and everything. So to swatch your colors is something, you know, a little bit different than having a color chart. So I kind of got the idea of the color swatching, which is mean, which means that you just um, have a scratch piece of paper beside you when you color and you just test the color out and see on a scrap piece of paper if that's the color you want. Okay, that's fine. Yes. A lot of times the pencil barrel color is not the color of the lead. Yes, I get it. But then when I start seeing people with color charts, I was completely confused. I was like, that is totally, totally unnecessary. Until I got my 160 hero pencils. Guys, they sent you a blank color chart for a reason, okay? <laughs> Half of the barrels, pencil barrels in that set do not match the lead. For example, there is this light blue pencil in there. It's a beautiful baby sky blue, baby blue color. You put it to the paper and it's gray. I mean, completely, completely, completely cool gray, okay? So you can pretty much, you can look at the lead of a pencil and kind of tell what it is, but I'm not skilled like that. I'll look at the lead and I'll be like, ooh, blue. And then I put it on my picture and it's gray. And I'm like, oh man, I messed my picture up. <laughs> so then I saw the, the, just the important need of having a color chart. And I figured if I wanted to be a serious colorist, I mean, make some beautiful art with my pencils and art tools, that I needed color charts so that I won't have to be using scrap paper all the time and just having to test every color. Because actually, um, someone brought out a good point on Facebook. They said, a lot of times you'll have a color in mind. For example, I would want a, an, a burnt orange color. And I know exactly what deep orange color I want, but I'm not quite sure if I have that in my collection. So it's, instead of going through every single pencil in my collection, which is a cabillion pencils, I can go in my color chart and I can just look for it. Okay, is it in Prismacolor Premier? Is it in uh, Colores? Is it, is it in the Ohuhu? You know, where is it? So I can just look, find it, boom, done. Of course, you're not going to do that for every single color. So it's just if you want a specific, specific color. So that's the story behind color charts for Bernice. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. So as you see here, you're probably wondering what this whole spread is. These are my newest addition to my pencils. And I am not ordering any more pencils, guys. I mean, no more. No more. You know when I get a Pink Panther accent, it, <laughs> it's over, okay? All right, guys. So, we're going to be swatching some of these colors. Well, not some of them. We're going to be finishing up my color chart with you guys, okay? So, I'm going to put the oh -hoo -hoo's over here for a minute. And I have my pen and my water brush for the watercolor. So, here I have the woodless Koinor woodless color pencils that I got. I have my complete set of tritones. I had the 12 set and I love them so much. They were so amazing. I had to get the 24. I have the Faber Castell Pit pastel pencils and a couple of you were asking what were pastel pencils. Well a lot of times people use pastel pencils or artists. They use the pastel pencils to draw. Um, they make um, beautiful drawing sketches and they're easy to move around because they're like chalk. They're like soft pastel chalk. So I figured if I didn't do necessarily drawings or sketches with them, 
I could, um, you know, play with my background and create different little sunsets and clouds. It'll be a little bit easier and I can smudge it easier. So that's that. And I also have the Faber Castell Albrecht Du. <laughs> I'm sticking with that, guys. Watercolor pencils. So we're going to be swatching all of these today. And I'm going to start with the Tritones. They are just so pretty. I love them, guys. I love them. So let me just show you around my little pencil um, color chart for not just my pencils, but for everything. I really need to do my rest of my markers. I need to do um, the rest of my pens. I wanted to put everything in here. So I'll just jump right on in. That's a little something that I drew that I need to finish um, sketching out with pen so I can erase the pencil work. But this is my favorite saying, expect nothing, appreciate everything, okay? And it has the raindrops and the clouds. Expect nothing. Because usually expecting stuff leads to disappointment. Okay? Appreciate everything. Has the flowers and the leaves and the sunshine and the wind blowing the leaves. Because when you appreciate everything, you're usually happier. Yes. Okay? That's some dollar diva knowledge right there, baby. <laughs> so here's my sketch. Not sketch. My color chart for my Cali Art Markers. And I have everything on, on the side here so that I can be able to easily find it. That's me demoing the Ohuhu watercolor markers. Here's my Fiber Castell Polychromos 12 set. Here's my Koi Noor Polycolor 12 set. And I have the 24 set, so I did the rest of them on the back side. And you see I left a blank page for the 72 set when I ever, ever get those. Maybe on Black Friday. <laughs> and here's the Koi Noor Tritones. And as you can see, I have more, 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 more that I also um, swatched and have the color chart on. So we're going to be working on these today. And I'm going to be seeing which ones I'm missing. Okay, so I know I don't have this one. This one is called Metal. I need to swatch that one. This one is called Earth Tones. I know I don't have that one. This one is Rainforest. I have Rainforest. This one is Tiger. I have Tiger. This is Forest. I have Forest. I know I have this one also. Which one is this one? Meadow. I have Meadow. Twilight, I don't have Twilight. Ocean, I have Ocean. Summer Sky, I have Summer Sky. Evening Storm, I have Evening Storm. No, I don't have that one. Violets, I know I don't have this one. Blush, what is this one? Volcano, I know I have Volcano. I love Volcano. Um, Tropical, I don't have that one. I know I don't have this one. Spanish Night. Ooh. Ember. Don't have that one. Poppy. I don't have Poppy. Sunset. Yes, I do have Sunset. Get over there, Sunset. You don't want to stay here. Flame. I have Flame. What else? Citrus. Madigal. Don't have citrus. What is this one? Daffodil and desert yellow. Don't have those. Okay, and the blender pencil. So, all right, so we can move those out the way. I have all of those. So, <clears throat> excuse me, let's turn this on the other side. I think I'll put them on the opposite page here. So, we have metal, okay, <clears throat> and the secret to using these guys is to rotate your barrel to get the different colors, okay. 
Alright, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it a little bit better what I'm doing. So I'm going to start with harder pressure here and lighten up my pressure here. And it's usually better not to go over over it too many times or you will mix the colors up a whole lot and that won't be good. So you take your blender pencil and you blend them all together if you'd like. So I'm just blending this middle part so I can see how it looks blended. And then you take your scrap paper and you clean your blender pencil off. Okay, the next color is Earth Tones. Uh oh, lost my lid. That's a pretty one. Ooh. That will make a beautiful wood, beautiful wood color. Getting lighter, lighter hand as I get on down to the end. Now I'm going to blend in here so I can see how it looks blended. Okay, you see how the difference, guys? Our next one is Twilight. They are a very soft lead too. Just like the poly color. I love the way the poly color, it's, it's not a super hard lead. <clears throat> Excuse me, but it, it's also uh, not a super soft lit like the Prismas. I love the poly colors. They are awesome. I would love a 72 set one day, but the 72 set is so expensive. This is a beautiful blue. All three of the blues together. That's pretty, really pretty. I need my brush so I can stop blowing this deadly um, pencil dust because <laughs> it's irritating me the pencil dust and if I do that I'm gonna smear stuff everywhere so oh well we have violets Oh, that's a pretty pink, purple, blue. But the only thing about these um, tritones is you can't just color <clears throat> a picture with just these. <laughs> you definitely have to have something to supplement. You know, you can't have a multicolored picture. For the most part, you have to, you know, this is only for things that you don't want to do a whole bunch of layering with. The purpose of these pencils are to do like, um, I'll show you very quickly. Let me zoom you back out. I did this one picture here. And the purpose of these tritones is to do things like this. Now, this is only one one coat, one layer of pencil. And I think it was the Matagold, but it had the brown and the red and the orange 
and the yellow in the tone. So it kind of made that book look, you know, and then I blended it together and it ended up looking like this. Very nice. I also did the bushes up here with two different colors, the lighter green and the darker green. And then I used the regular poly color for the just regular forest green colors and it came out beautifully guys and this i was so impressed with this i used the tiger and the matigal for each line and it made this wicker chair just amazing you know it just it really it looks like i used six different colors when i only use those two pencils so that's the purpose of using the tritones to do multicolored things that are multicolored in real life, you know, like your pages and different things, but using regular tones for everything else. So that's the key. That's the trick. Okay, guys. So our next one is blush. That's a lot of, oh my goodness, I'm breaking. I'm so heavy handed. Guys, ugh, help me, help me, help me. I'm so heavy handed. I'm steady breaking lids. But this is a nice mixture of your pinks and hot pinks, light pink and hot pink. And I just learned how to use blender pencils, guys. I thought my Prismacolor blender pencil was broken. <laughs> I was like, it's not working. Come to find out, you cannot have a lot of pressure on... Let me see. Am I, yes, I knew I was doing that, guys. Let me put something in the middle of this. I guess I'll put this paper in here. I'm going to have to erase that. You can't use a lot of pressure with your blender pencil. You have to be light-handed, just like you're light-handed with your colored pencils. And I didn't know that. I thought you were supposed to just bear right on in. So I'm using tiny circles on this one. So you actually get a different look if you use tiny circles or if you use straight lines. So there you go, two different looks. You get a different look if you use a light pressure and dark pressure, heart pressure, I'm sorry. So isn't that nice? I found that when you're doing um, foliage, like bushes and trees and stuff, circular is better because it looks like leaves than straight. Our next color is Spanish Night. Ooh, Spanish night is Spanish night. It's like a black with some orange and it says purple is in there, but I don't see purple. I see black and orange. And you have to really figure out what these colors go with, you know? So let's see, what would I put Spanish night on? Maybe, um, you can always, you know, do them for any type of clothing or shoes or anything, but like an actual real object, what would I use this for? I have no clue. I would have to actually see it to know, see what I'm working with and kind of like, oh, that's what I want that for. Ember. Like that would be a beautiful, of course, any green one would be beautiful for foliage, leaves, trees, bushes. And any brown one would be great for woods, bark, tree bark. But these other color ones, 
You really have to figure it out. You can't just go plopping them on anything. And there, the blender pencil is just so scratchy. I have to let off. Remember, don't be heavy-handed with it. And our next one is Poppy. This one would make a good fire. A good color for fire. Or for any kind of flowers. And our next one is citrus. that would be nice for an orange or a fruit I definitely see small circles making a different color different result than the lines now I don't know where that dark piece came from. Okay. Now we have desert yellow. And I'll go ahead and write this one down. Daffodil. Desert yellow. And that really doesn't have a whole lot of tones in it. That looks just like plain yellow. It's supposed to have some white in it and some orange. Now, see the orange? Don't see any orange in that feller. I don't even need to use the blender pencil for that because it's just, yeah. And that looks like an even lighter yellow. Okay, so we got those done. And I'm gonna need to use my eraser and get that off of that page. I wish they'd come up with a bigger set of these because they are so very awesome. Okay, now. We're done with those. Now let's do our, well, you know what? I would like to do my woodless right behind these. Yes, I would like to do my wood list right here. So we have Koinor wood list. Okay. All right. So open these up and right away the red was broken. 
these are some very, 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 very fragile pencils. Very fragile. I don't even think you can use a pencil sharpener with them. So, this will be my first time trying these beauties out. So, we have black. have to be very gentle with them and you know my heavy hand oh my goodness my heavy hand is the worst okay that's one layer let's get a little lighter They go on very nice. Let's see what happens when I do this. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Interesting. The next one is brown. They feel really good in your hand, kind of heavy. So that's the heavy hand. That's my medium. And here is my light. I am definitely guilty of the death grip. I want to change the order of these pencils. You know I'm OCD can't be having stuff that's not beside the green that's not green come on now come on come on out of here come on come on come on now I gotta put them together dark green Sorry about that, guys. This is definitely not dark green. <laughs> See, this is why you need swatches. Because that looks dark green, and this looks like some type of aquamarine green or something. Seafoam green, teal. Definitely not dark green. And this is an expensive brand of pencil, okay? This is not a hero pencil that is okay to get your colors wrong. You're supposed to be the best of the best. And you're giving me wrong barrel colors. So this one is dark blue, sky blue, Paris blue, and light blue. And then we have dark violet. And light violet. And Carmine is going to go with that one. And then Scarlet Lake. And then Pink. Oh, I forgot about these. Okay, we have Light Ochre, Light Yellow, Dark Yellow, Orange, and Burnt Sienna. Okay? Yes. Okay, so, all right. Light ochre, light yellow, dark yellow. Orange, burnt sienna. Okay.
Okay, and the dark blue. Light blue. And sky blue. These are such beautiful, vibrant colors. I can't wait to color with them. Now we have our dark violet and our light violet. And this is what color? Light vermilion. I'll do the other side. Light vermilion. Carmine. Scarlet Lake and Pink. This actually looks like the exact same color that broke on um, one of the YouTubers that I'm subscribed to that I watched. She was testing out Razzle Dazzle Ray, Razzle Ray, Ray Dazzle Razzle. <laughs> I like her. She is so funny, but she was trying these out doing a review of them and i think this is the exact same one that broke on her so that one just might be a defected one carmine is more like a, the red that light vermilion is more like a orangey red like a red orange and this one is more like your red red your apple red which it looks kind of pink in the casing that's why you need color charts guys and like I always give the example you know one time I was thinking about well I wasn't thinking about but I was like I want my apple to be apple red I picked up a color that I thought was apple red and it was pink so I had to have a lady pink apple and I didn't want a lady pink apple I wanted an apple red just red fire red apple so that's why you need color charts because you think you got one color and it's not that color. Okay guys, so those are the Koinor Woodless. Okay, and I really like them. So now let's try, 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 I can't talk. Let's put those away. Let's do the, oh, they are some noisy little things, aren't they? Let's try out our Faber Castel Pit Pastels. Okay, so 
They don't have any colors, just the numbers. I don't like that. You would think a pencil that's this expensive or this high quality would have names on them. So this is the 101, which is the white. And let me zoom you in so you can really see it good. You see that chalk? See that? That's what you have with these. Next is 102. Oh, it goes down just like chalk. And you see that? Let's smear it a little bit. See that? I like the feeling of chalk pastel pencils. Oh, wait a minute. What is this one? 151. I want to keep them in numerical order. 140, then 151. 191. You're not quite yet. Okay, what is this one? 191? Okay, so now we have 140. And you don't need to be heavy handed at all. Can you see that? You see all that chalk? Let's smear it. Okay. 151. Let's be light handed with it. Very, very light. You see how light that is? Let's smear that. One fifty nine. One sixty eight. One seventy five, one eighty six. Uh oh, no, one eighty four, one eighty six. Okay, this is one seventy five. I'll smear them later. Okay. Oh, I can't wait to play with these with you guys. Now this just looks like a black charcoal pencil. All right, now let's smear them with our fingers. It's hard to clean your fingers off with these. Hard to keep your fingers clean. Alright, that's it. Those are the pit pastel pencils.
And now let's try our watercolor outburst. We're just gonna say AD, <laughs> like Loretta told me to say, right? Huh, I got color, color. I think I'm speaking Spanish or something, guys. I don't know. Okay, so. Now see, the pastel pencils don't have a name, but the beautiful little watercolor pencils do. So we have white, and I think the polychromos have names too. White 101. And we have dark cadmium orange 115. Let's go ahead and swatch these babies. I'll just put a little white down. I know you can't see it. Oh, that goes down very nice. Wow, likey, likey, likey. Now I can do this dry, like seriously. That would be a nice dry pencil. Now this one is the 219, okay. Deep Scarlet Red 219. Now I can do a full set of these and be happy with them because they're dual purpose. Magenta. One. 33. Oh, is that 133? I can't see. Oh, that's pretty. Get back over there. All right, now we have Patalo Blue and Light Ultra Marine, and that's 140 and 110. Almost done, guys. Bear with me. Bear with me. Bear with me. All right, we have emerald green. And we have, oh, wait a minute, that's 163. And we have light green. 171. Seven walnut brown one seventy seven and our black one ninety nine. 
Oh, finally. Almost done. This is the only bad part about making color charts. It's so tedious, but I actually find it kind of fun. <laughs> you get to actually test out your pencils. You get to see how they feel on paper. And of course, pencils perform differently on different paper. I had to learn that the hard way. I was like, ew, I hate this pencil. It's horrible. Come to find out, it's not the pencil. It's the paper. All right, guys. Yes, we're done. Now let's activate this with water and we will be a done, 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 done. Okay, I got my water brush here and my napkin. So let's start with this one. Okay, that's nice. Let me zoom in so you guys can really see it. That's nice. Very nice. Oh, it makes an intense color. Now, this is how watercolor is supposed to behave, guys. Okay? Yes, this is what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to intensify once you add water. Not disappear. Okay, these are absolutely the best watercolor pencils that I have. See how they're doing, guys? Look at that. That's what it's supposed to do right there. Yes. Okay, guys. That's it. So we have test out and swatched and made a color chart for all of my new pencils. I can't close this up right now. This has to dry. <laughs> so, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Oh, I have to do the rest of my oh hoo, hoo but I've already done some of them, so you guys know how they look. <laughs> so, guys, thanks for tuning in for this video, and if you have any questions about any of these pencils, just let me know in the comments below, and I will check you guys out on the next video. Bye!